hear it, you say something else. <laughs> that's, that's on, that, on my mind, that may not be what he gave me. <laughs> what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood.
came to praise the Lord. While we come here, yeah. this is God's house. Yeah. And as I said a few weeks ago, every time Pastor West, yeah. I said, y'all, I'm not telling y'all what to do. Uh -huh. But my, I, I used to watch my father as he yeah. walked into the church. He's always, you know, I, as a little child, I'm like, hey, Daddy, be quiet, be quiet. And he yeah. always come to the altar yeah. and pray. And then one day I said, oh, my, what's going on? He said. Whenever you walk in the house, I taught you to speak first. Amen. Yeah. He said, because it's my house. Yeah. <laughs> so whenever I walked in the house, if I didn't speak or, or even when I got up, yeah. I had to say good morning. Uh -huh. Amen. I had to say good morning, I was in trouble. Amen. So he said, when you walk into God's house, mm -hmm. speak to him first. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So when I, when I came here, and then, and then he would uh, follow me, I would say, no, come on, go to the, go to the pool. Baby. I said, okay. And my brother came my mind. Before I step into the pulpit, yeah. I have to All right. All right. recognize God. Amen. Thank you for allowing me to wake up. Amen. And I'm not feeling actually good in my body, well, but yeah. just to be able to walk into the sanctuary Amen. and Amen. to give God praise. Yeah. Yeah. So when I came and I said, Lord, I, I thank you. Thank, thank you for having been so good, yeah. so yeah. kind. That you took the time to think about me yes, to yes. allow me to walk in here. Hallelujah. Because I, I could have been rolled in yeah. with a wheelchair uh -huh. or in a casket. Yeah. But God's mercy is yeah. mercy. Yeah. Oh, to me. Yeah. He's good. He's good. Amen. I thank God for being here. Thank God for my wife, uh, my sister Pastor, uh, my mother. Yeah. Wilson, yeah. Yeah. And the Cornerstone for being out uh, with me on today. Amen. Uh, Amen. We just feel the of our second home. Amen. Amen. So I, I, I truly thank God. Uh, we were out last night. Uh, the young people had Grandparents Day for us on yesterday. We went out to eat last night. And I take uh, one, of, one of the pastors, uh, I pick him up in the morning and I take him home. So last night, <laughs> I got kind of late. I said, Lord, please give me strength. <laughs> give, me strength. <laughs> give me strength. You know, your mind says, oh, I got a whole lot of strength. Yeah. But the body says something totally yeah. different. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you know, this, this one lady said, oh, you look awfully young and one for that gray. I said, let's could be deceiving. Yeah. Yeah. My body yeah. says something totally different. Yeah. Years ago, I said, oh, I am young. Oh. Yeah. But now I feel like, yeah, I, I don't feel it. <laughs> I just thank God for giving me strength yeah, yeah. To, to stand up here. Yeah. Mother Wilson called me up Wednesday. She said, Pastor, everything all right? I said, uh, yes, ma'am. She said, are you sure? Because I didn't get a call from you. And I said, well, I'm kind of down. My back was messed up. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what happened. I know every now and then I have these muscle spasms. Yeah. And they hit, like, hit me right in the middle of my back. Mm -hmm. And it hurts to the point where I'm not trying to walk. Yeah. I mean, I said, oh man, I feel like an old man. My wife, my wife. <laughs> granddad, granddad, I said, <laughs> I'll take it this time because I feel like a granddad. But I'm going to read uh, Mark, the 10th chapter. Uh, so it's an actual familiar uh, text. <coughs> the 10th chapter is following verse 17. I'm going to read from the King James Version. Uh, Mark the 10th chapter, following verse 17. I believe we're going to go down to verse 22. Mm -hmm. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked, and asked him, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest Thou be good. Mm -hmm. There is none good but one, yeah. that is God. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, 
defraud not, honor thy father and mother. <laughs> Verse 20. And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these have I observed from my youth. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way and sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, take up the cross, and follow me. Verse 22, and he was sad at that sin, uh -huh. and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe see. Let's go a few minutes. What's in your wallet? Oh. That's a commercial uh, Capital One has kind of, uh, you know, you know, commercials kind of have like, like, like a little, uh, like a little uh, certain saying to kind of perk you up or have your mind thinking on that product. Man. So when I, you know, I, I used to work for the bank. So when I saw the commercial, you know, I saw people using a credit card. Yes. And they just going and buying stuff. Just buying. I was like, wait, wait a minute. You gotta be very careful with that credit card. Yes. Because I didn't mean, forget it's credit. Yes. Amen. They don't think about the bill. Yes. I remember. I had like myself you several years ago, but a few years ago. I got some, I got home. I said, oh, I can get some credit cards. Mm -hmm. I got the credit card, and I said, my mind, I'm not going to use these cards. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I, I've been taught what happens and whatever else. Yes, yeah. I'm going to use for emergency. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, it was like the emergency just started popping up out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> no. And I said, man, I, I think we really need this. Uh -huh. And I don't have the money. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see what I got in my wallet. <laughs> so I pulled the cards out, I'm looking, and I was taught when you buy something, you pay the bill. Amen. So if I if I buy a pair of shoes, hopefully within before that, that bill comes, yes, to pay it off. Right. And I said, uh, well, you know, it's not the, I forgot what I got, but I said, well, this shouldn't be that much. Uh -huh. But for some reason, when you go to another store, Amen. Well, or, in my case, I want my wife shopping, and she buys stuff, I'm like, man, she's always getting stuff. I want to get some of my stuff. I know how to do it. So, she, she, yeah, she's going to tell, yeah, she tell the truth. Amen. She can go buy some stuff, and I don't know how females come out with this. They bags of stuff. Uh -huh. And for some reason, it's only $100, but when a man go out buying suit and shoes and a shirt, it's a couple hundred dollars. Amen. Uh -huh. So I said, let me try to see what she's doing. Uh -huh. And I'm falling around, and she's just getting all this stuff. I'm, and I'm going to the man's store, I'm like, that's a suit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't come out with one bag, and she got all these bags. Yeah. And she's going to go to the other store in the mall, and maybe get some other stuff, and perfume, and bath and body. Everybody. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, well, honey, I like this. And I said, okay, baby. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I was like, well, I got this card. Uh -huh. And swipe it. And then you know, all of a sudden, it's like, I forget about, you said you're going to make that payment at the end of the month. So uh -huh. Get them with the interest and all the other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we went to another store. <laughs> and for some reason, I had the Victoria's Secret. I had all the... Yeah. I got proof of all the female cards. Yeah. So I'm like, I really can't buy nothing for myself. Uh -huh. So I got to, you know, wait, wait, yeah. let me go get something for my wife. Because mm -hmm. my mind, I said, well, when Mother's Day comes, uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm in bad shape. My wife's birthday is May the 1st. Mother's Day comes right behind that for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I first got married, I tried to combine everything together. Uh -huh. like, I'm going to give you some real big. Took the cards, uh -huh. take out the dinner, and then I'm like, baby, this is, you know, she's all happy when I said, this is birthday and Mother's Day. No, it ain't! Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't born on Mother's Day. <laughs> I said, Lord, have mercy. 
<laughs> well, you know, I'm, in my mind, I'm like, I hope she understands that I'm on a budget. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying to do some big all at one time, yeah. but it didn't work. Hey. Several years it didn't work. So I try to like, you know, let me get these cards to when that time come, I can do something real nice, whatever. But for some reason, before the birthday come, you know, I'm dealing with anniversary. Uh -huh. I'm dealing with all the little, other little stuff that was, you know, trying to take out the dinner. Because, you know, every now and then we have like date nights and stuff like that. And, whatever. and I was trying to be... You know, like, well, baby, you know, we don't really, you know, spend money. So a couple of times we go out, it's something a little minor little thing. Because the thing is, you want to, your, your, your marriage, you want to keep the flame burning. Amen. So just, just being with your spouse, Amen. you know, just a little time. So I'm like, well, we just out shopping, just yeah. window shopping. <laughs> just window shopping. Uh -huh. Baby, you know, you like this? And one day, when God bless, I get the money, I can be able to buy you this. I already know my mind, you want this. I can say what? You want that. Hallelujah. But she said, well, Kim, I really love that. Mm -hmm. And I can wear this with that. And she said, I thought you was going to buy it. So we just out, just looking. What a shot. Then, you know, just a look on her face like that. Didn't Okay. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Well, I this in my back pocket. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Pull this out. Then, when I swiped it, I said, oh. Mm. Uh, sir, it declined. It declined. Then I started raising my mind, but I did use it for this, and we went out to eat, and then a couple weeks ago, we did this. And let me take the other card. Because, you know, you're you embarrassed. So you don't want to just... <coughs> Uh, well, swipe it again, swipe it again. And, you know, if you mention nobody working at the bank, it's a little trick. They keep swiping, they keep swiping it. The third and fourth time, it automatically just go on through. But I didn't want to be stuck with that old cream, and I said, wait, I got another one. And they swiped that one. You don't have enough. I got another one. In my mind, I'm like, I was a, I'm the man. I put on all these cards. But they're telling me there's nothing on the card. And you know how to take this, if you pay the minimum, uh -huh. this is what you're going to be left with. Uh -huh. And they give you like a whole list of, this is, what, this, is how, this, this is how long it will take you to pay that credit card. Uh -huh. I said, Lord, that person, I can't, no, I'm going to pay extra. Uh -huh. But I'm stuck with other bills. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to get trouble with this. But going to this story, this young man, when you hear it, he's, the scripture said he was a young ruler. Yeah. So which means that he was rich at a young age. Yes, we don't know how he got the funds, mm -hmm. you know, got the property, because they said he was rich. So yeah. that made him, in our mind, he was a rich ruler. So I picture he was a king. I don't know how he became rich. I don't know if he inherited from his dad or how it came up, but all we know is that he was rich. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out, like, well, okay, he's rich. And most a lot of times what we do, we look at the rich and famous. They have a yeah. show called The Rich and Famous. Uh -huh. I've got a name with Robin Leach or whatever to talk about the houses and whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's good to see it, but also it has your mind thinking, wow, I want, I want this. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you get older, you, 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 know, you start thinking, I can't afford it. Yeah. No, you get older and wiser. Mm -hmm. I can't afford it. Let me you know, go with what I can't afford. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the young people, they get caught up with these little rap videos and this and that, whatever. Oh man, he got this house. Oh, he got this. Oh, he. Got... And they see, little, you know, see these little young rappers and whatever. I guess they call it influencers or whatever. They see all this stuff. And one day, I was sitting there talking to Doctor Google, and I was, you know, just looking through, and I saw where a lot of these people who we think they have these homes. Don't have the homes. Amen. Amen. They are renting the homes. Yeah. Or the people who are doing the video shoot is renting the homes for them. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see all the jury, all oh, they got other the Right. <laughs> One time I was teaching a class at the church. I told the young people, I said, you know what, y'all get caught up in all this bling bling stuff and all this other stuff. And what they're trying to do to us, you know, 
our race. They want us to spin. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. And I, I told myself one time I was working, I was doing some painting. And me and my uncle and my cousin, we was in Watts. In the project. Uh -huh. And I saw so many BMWs and Mercedes on twin tools and rims and all that other stuff with the sign. I said, hey, what's up wrong? <laughs> <laughs> then the guy came out with all these chains on that neck, yeah, you know, all this expensive clothes. I'm like, what? What's up really wrong? Yes, yeah, sir. You're in a project and you got all you got this nice BMW, this Porsche, all this other stuff, jewelry dripping all down your chest, but you're the project. Mm -hmm. You, you done paid two million dollars for some tennis shoes, and some of them got 10 to 15, 20 pairs of those shoes. Yeah, right. But you live in a project. Amen. And then some of them got all this stuff, and going to the store, I'm fucking my credit card, they fucking an EBT card. Amen. <laughs> I'm like, yes, sir. Yeah. how is this? <laughs> You, you know you, you, you use your money for the wrong thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, instead of investing, mm -hmm. you know, one day I was, I was in, I said, now, I had a, I had a friend, back in the day now. <laughs> he, he had this little business, yeah. doing some other stuff. Uh -huh. And he kept saying, I'm saving my money to, so I can invest. I said, okay. And all the, all the other little guys that was with him, they were doing like in buying the cars, they had three, four cars. I mean, it's, I'm like, whoa, man, they sharp. He had the raggedy car, he had all this stuff. Listen, <laughs> I'm saying, what is he doing? Then a few years later, he's out of the game. I said, I saw him, he said, hey, Wes, how you doing, man? I said, oh, man, how you doing, man? God bless. He said, God bless. Oh man, you say it now? I said, oh yes, sir. Oh, your daddy got you, huh? I said, if you want to call it daddy, you know, he talking about my father, Bishop West. I'm talking about the daddy, God. Yeah, God got me. He woke me up. And he was like, yeah, man, you know, he saved me too. And I'm looking at him because he had tattoos all over his face and messed up. I'm like, what? But then God told me, see, you look like at the hour of appearance. Amen. See, I'm thinking back what his life was back in the day. But the way he was dressed, he wasn't dressed with the saggy pants. Yes, he had a suit on, a tie on. Amen. And me and my, my brother, Dick and Rick, we was, Dick and Rick looked at me, I'm and I'm like, he said, how you know him? I said, well, that's my old friend, man. He said, man, how you got a suit on? I said, I don't know, I'm gonna talk to him, so you know, see what's going on. And he had this nice little lady with him, and she, when I saw her, I knew her, because she was a church girl. I said, how do you put this? Church girl. And I know the type of lifestyle he was living. And he was talking to me. We, 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 we was in Java Juice. And he was like, man, tell people, God is good. And this and that. I'm like, what happened? What, you asked me what happened to me, but I'm telling you what, you was way off worse than I was. <laughs> and some of the people were, was ashamed and didn't want to talk to him because how his face looked. Yes, sir. But didn't understand what was coming out of his mouth. Yeah. He was giving them life. Yes, and he was just feeding them life. And I'm like, I said, hey man, come in, I didn't talk to you, bro. He was like, what's going on, man? I said, what happened to you? He was like, man, you know, I was saving my money when I was doing that. I was saving something got in the situation. I said, like, oh, okay. He said, yeah, man, God bless me, man. I'm like, how did, that's not God's money. I, I know what you was doing. Mm -hmm. He said, I got in trouble. And God told me this was my last time. Mm -hmm. I said, huh? Yeah, he told me this is my last time, so I just gave up the life and followed him. But it wasn't easy. Amen. All my friends was laughing at me. Yeah. They were trying to rob me, they were doing this and that, whatever. He said, but I met this preacher who told me to invest my money in profit. Uh -huh. I said, oh man, this little young guy, he's a few years younger than me, owns not an actual a condo, he owns an actual Building mm -hmm. complex. Yes, Amen. He owns three or four homes at that time. This was like about like five or six years ago at that time. He said, Man, I'm trying to store up for my children. Mm -hmm. The word of God tells us that's what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. store for our children. <clears throat> Leave them something. And I'm, and I'm sitting like, whoa, bro. And I saw, I shake his hand. I said, man, you know what? I said, man, I, I am so happy for you. Because the way he was going, he was just, damn it. But he came to there and just judged people Amen. by their past yes, and Amen. what you see on the outside. Yes. So this young ruler that I'm still trying to picture, I'm like, how did he get all this stuff? Did he get it? But it doesn't matter how he got it. Yes, he got it. Amen. And in his mind, I'm doing what's right. Because uh -huh. we hear it. I kept the commandments. Mm -hmm. I did all this. I, I did all this stuff from my, from my you know, he's a child. He, he got to be saying, you know, I was taught this. Yes. Kind of a child the way you should go. Amen. And he said, hey, I, I was taught, I'm, I'm doing this. And that's what a lot of us say. Well, I'm keeping the commandments. Uh -huh. Amen. This. But one time, God told me, he said, there's something, Kim, you're lacking. I said, Lord, I'm, I'm coming to church. I'm doing this. I pay my time. I'm giving off. He said, but you still lack something. Yes. And I thought, I said, well, I keep the commandments. So I do this. So I do that. I, you know, I, I definitely I don't want to fall. I, I don't steal. I don't do this. I don't do that. And keep this out. I, I'm doing everything. And all of a sudden, he said, there's still something that you're lacking. Yes. See, we're looking at certain things, but then God has something for you to do. Amen. That he didn't tell Ricky, Bobby, whoever else to do. Uh -huh. And this young man, he knew that he was lacking something. Yes. Hmm. And for him to walk up to Jesus and say, good teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm putting my mind, he didn't know if he was a teacher or not. Just, hey, you know, he's a good man. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I believe that you got the information for me to where I can inherit the kingdom. Amen. And guess what? Yeah. I can help you out. Yes. And like I said a few weeks ago, we want to hear <coughs> what's going to make us happy. Yes. See, if, if, if I ask you, hey amen. How have my life been for the last 15 years? <clears throat> now you start telling me, well, hey, you could have been doing this. Mm -hmm. You could have been doing that. You mm -hmm. should have done. Man, I don't want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to talk to my, my brother. My blood brother. brother. Hey, Dino. Hey, man. How am I like, oh, man, <laughs> you, you're doing good, bro. Mm -hmm. Everything's doing good. But somebody's going to tell me the truth. It's going to put me in my place. I don't want to hear it. So he wanted to hear something that's going to be like easy. Amen. And God said, well, I, I can help you. Mm -hmm. You know, all that stuff that you got in your wallet, mm -hmm. give it up. Amen. Mm -hmm. Help the poor. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Give it to the needy. Yes. yes, sir. And in my mind, I'm just picturing in the modern time, a rich person mm -hmm. who sit there, and you know what? Most people, it's not everybody, but most people who are rich, they lied, cheated, did something to get the money. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I used to work at Wells Fargo at the, at the bar. And one of my, when I started off, I was, I was like a little uh, 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 a person that worked I received the money that came off the armor truck, and then we switched them over to where the money that came from the casinos. We got the money that we put in the machine and switched it off, then we switched it over to like the corporate office. Uh -huh. So at the corporate office, I was an auditor, which means I audited all the Wells Fargo banks that was in California and the, the managers of the banks and the vaults. I had a boss that was so mean and nasty when I first started there. Oh, he was just nasty. I said, sir, you know, uh, I'm having church today. I just, you know, on my application, I said, I can't even work on certain days because of my religion. So can I have off? Well, it's not my religion. Amen. I said, well, <laughs> sir, I said, what I believe in, I need this day off. I can't work on this day. We have in church. But like I said, I don't even on the calendar. I said, okay, fine. So I'll take off. So I took off, he, he rolled me up. 
<laughs> so I'm like, wait a minute. So I went to his boss. He said, well, hey, you your boss, whatever. I said, okay, fine. But he was just, just doing a little s silly stuff. And now it's time for me to watch him. <laughs> Amen. So every month, certain vaults and certain banks, a red flag would come up where money was short, or whatever else. So his Ball came up where I used to work at. I said, oh, mm -hmm. I'm about to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And it was short several millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Monthly. I said, oh, I see what's going on. Yeah. He's still. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get him. Uh -huh. yeah. And I got him. Gave him to my ball. I said, sir. And I'm kind of person, when I get the mission, I want to know exactly, I want to make sure that you cannot get away. Amen. I said, this is what happened, this is what's going on. And so, are okay. you sure? I said, okay. double check. Mm -hmm. Oh, what we got here? So they called me in the room to do an investigation. And they were talking to him. And he was in there, oh, no, I, I didn't do nothing. So they pulled up the records. I'm in the office like this. And he looked at me like, <clears throat> and he was the other color. Mm -hmm. And I'm just in there. And he said, why is he here? He said, well, he didn't want to do the investigation. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and what they said, oh, can you explain this? Oh, well, uh, well, we found out that you got a brand new car, you got this, you got that. Mm -hmm. So where's the money coming from? Yeah. Amen. So when they found out he was still and they walked out of the room, Mr. West, come on, man, I got wife and children. I said, I can do it. Amen. Well, Mr. West, come on. I said, this is my job. If yeah. I don't, don't do it the right way, yeah. I'm going to get fired. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll put it this way. In a way, I was kind of wrong, but it was just, <laughs> yeah. I was just so happy I got it. Hey, <laughs> you know, but the rich, the rich, some of them, they lie, they cheat, they own friends, they, mm -hmm. they some kind of way they, they got some kind of underhand and got mm -hmm. the money. Mm -hmm. But this young man, we don't know. Yeah. And my mom put he probably inherited. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he's trying to figure out how can I inherit the mm -hmm. kingdom? Yeah. We'll sell everything. Yeah. Huh? It gotta be another way. Mm -hmm. See, in, in our minds we think because you got money, you're happy all the time. Mm -hmm. rich, the rich people, they they happy. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Their mind is always watching who's trying to take their money. Amen. They're trying to figure out how much more I can get. Yeah. They, you know, everybody's not greedy. Yeah. See the word, see people think they said that the scripture said, you know, the root of you know the, uh, the love of money is the root of money. It's not talking about that. Mm -hmm. It's about if you make it your God. Yeah. So in my mind, I'm preaching that this young man was making his riches his God. Amen. Because now he's saying. Get rid of it. Mm -hmm. if, if you really want the kingdom, if you really want eternal life, get rid of it. Yeah. You don't need it. Because guess what? If you do what I tell you to do, yeah. you will have that and more. Yes. 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 And I'm, I'm a scripture that if I want something and you telling me this is what I, this is, if, you, if I really want, if you really want something, you're going to do whatever you can to get it. Yes. Yes. Ain't nothing going to get in your way. If it's something hard, whatever, guess what? You to, you, you're gonna go to school, mm -hmm. you're gonna read, you're gonna do anything, you're gonna watch videos, YouTube, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. To get it. Because yes. you really want it. Yes, but in his mind, he really want it, mm -hmm. but now he's telling you to give it up for everything that you got. Yeah. Amen. Whoa, wait a minute. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, give it up everything? <laughs> you want eternal life? Yes. You want to live forever? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get rid of all that stuff. Yeah. And he wasn't even thinking. See, now right now, because I've probably been like, like, like the guy a few years ago. You said what? Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, not right now. Let me get more. Mm -hmm. I'll find a way where I, I can get some more. And then I can sell it. And then go over here and get the other stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, that's the way I was thinking. You want to be first no matter what. Amen. And I'm talking about money, praise. He wants to be first. Yeah. Yeah. He wants all the recognition. Mm -hmm. He tells in the commandments, I'm a jealous God. Yeah. Don't put nobody, no other God. And I'm not talking about no 
idols like the idol of your Buddha. Anything that you put over God mm. is your God. Yes. I had a, 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 a God sister, or well, she's not a God sister, a father sister, whatever you want to call it. Several years ago, she had got hold to this, this man who had money. And he would buy her nice cars or whatever. And she didn't want nobody to touch her car. <clears throat> couldn't lean on the car, you couldn't do nothing. If you're outside, you like this next to the car. Ah, oh, get off my car! And she's going to wipe it down and all this stuff. My dad said, that car's going to be the death of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pop, don't say that. Uh, uh. Everybody kept telling me. And several years ago, 1989, we all went to Kentucky for my grandmother's funeral. And me and my, my cousin rolled with my dad, but my aunt had to go back early, so they rolled with the lady who had the car. And they kept saying, but hey, can you, my, me and my cousin was like this. He said, ride with me, man, come on. I said, okay. Then I said, nah, okay. Somebody kept telling me, don't get in the car. I said, man, you know how she's about that car, man. I can't get in the car with her. But they left. Two days later, we leaving right behind you. I'm calling my cousin, hey, 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 Sean, what's going on? I kept calling. He's not answering the phone. So I'm calling his wife. Then I'm calling all over. Everybody who, who's part of my family, I'm calling. What, hey, what's going on? Nobody answered the phone. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? And now we're on the road headed to Blythe. And I'm calling, I'm calling. And my dad stopped at the rest stop. Me, my dad, and my mom. And I go to this little rest stop and I hear these other colored people talking about those Indian people. You know how they say the N word. Mm -hmm. They died. They blow the clip. And they live. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm just still going to get my stuff. And somebody called me from back east. Oh, Kim, I'm so sorry. And this and that. I'm like, sorry for what? They did. I'm like, who did? Sean, they died. They died. I'm like, you lying. Come on, man. You, you, you got to tell me. No. No, they went over the cliff and bang. Heard what they said, everything's ready to get. So I lost it, because that was my favorite aunt, that was my cousin. And the highway patrolman come, my mom and dad come in the store, they, I'm, I'm going off, I'm trying to get to these other colored people. Like, what you talking about, man, what's going on? And they kind of control me, I'm telling my dad, they said, Sean, I'm dying. And my mom, my, that was my mom's favorite sister-in-law, she, oh, she flipped out. And, <laughs> So happened, high patrolman calmed us down and took us to the spot where they died. And for, this happened in 89. And I see the actual car pieces and everything on the ground. It just, it actually messed me up for years. I was traumatized. I couldn't drive on a, on a, on a, uh, a 10 freeway going to Arizona or Blank in that area. I could not. I would flip out, I would wake up, and that whole thing cut my mind. Because I went to the spot and saw the blood, I saw the car, everything. And, if, and I'm hearing stories of because she fell asleep, she wanted nobody to drop. Bang! But then God showed me, you could have been in that car too. Yes, yes. I kept saying, in my mind, Lord, why you keep, I, I was so mad, I said, why you keep saving me? I mean, stab, shot at, all this stuff. Yes. Why you keep saving me? Because yes. in my mind, I'm like, I'm messed up. Yes. I'm nothing. He kept saying, I got something else for you. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, he got something for all of us to do. You may not be the same thing. He got something for you to do. And you got to do it. Yeah. I kept saying, what is it? Mm -hmm. I, I, why? Now, I, I didn't want to hear what he wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. Same thing I was saying earlier. We asked for advice, and he gave it to us, but it's because it's not what we want to hear. Amen. We, oh, I'm deaf. Oh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh-huh. He didn't talk to me, he told me somebody else. Mm -hmm. But he finally told me, this is what I want you to do. Yeah. And I got you. Say that you turn the ruler. You won't get on the light. It's mm -hmm. for you here. There you go. Amen. It's right in your hands. And I'm telling you because I have the key. Mm -hmm. And he decided to walk away sorrowful, mad, upset. Lost his opportunity for eternal life. Yes. Because what? 
the love right. of what was in his wallet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saints, we got to put God first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can't be afraid that he's going to tell us something. See, in our minds, we wait for he's going to tell us something that's supernatural and, woo, I can't do this. Now we got to hang it. <laughs> he told me this. If I gave it to you, I'm, I'm going to be there with you. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to do it. Amen. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about I have to go to school. You want to go to school? Amen. If God gave you the gift or told you I want to do this, he's going to show you how to do it. Amen. Just be patient and let him teach you and show you. The same way if you would go to school and pay all those thousand dollars, yeah. listen to a teacher who really don't even care about you, all they about their check. Right. You sit there and listen to them. Amen. For several years, yes, and get a degree, mm -hmm. doctors, masters, and then try to get a job, they say, well, you're not, you're not qualified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But God, Amen. who do, I'm telling you to do this. Mm. Oh, Lord, I've never done it for. I got you. Amen. Amen. But this is, a, I'm going to show you. Yes. And guess what? It's a process. It's going to be some time. But as you go, every day he's showing you, hey, I got you. Yes. And guess what? You take the time to think. I always, for the last few years, examine myself each day. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did I go wrong? What did mm -hmm. I do wrong? Can I do this better? I'm trying to figure out what can I do better to better myself. I'm trying to. And I'm because I, I, I know that God is showing me something, and I don't, if I miss it, Lord, please show me where I failed. Because guess what? In school, if you fail, you got to go back Amen. and do it again. Amen. So, Lord, if I fail, show me again so I can pass that test. Amen. This is a test every day. Amen. Every day. So, guess what? When you fail, wow, I failed. Mm -hmm. And when you fail to school, what? You feel sad, yeah. and you go back home. Some, some of us, <laughs> we go back home and we study. Mm -hmm. Oh, I ain't gonna pass. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I pass this test. Same thing with our spiritual life. But the, the best part about it is you have a study guide. Mm -hmm. He gave, a, gave you a study guide. Guess what? You don't have to pay no money for. See, you go to school, these colleges, you pay all this money for all these books and material. Mm -hmm. I remember mean, I went to trade tech. Went, I, I got a little book grant. I said, Oh, I got a book grant. Mm -hmm. And I thought, Oh, $500. I said, Oh, man, I know. Pay my book. And one book with $300 and one book with two. I said, this is not going to help me. I got five glasses. <laughs> and I still owe. I bring a book up to the counter. He said, well, you owe, uh, let's see the grant. Okay, well, you owe about $200. $200. I got a book grant. Well, sir, that only covers certain. But God is giving you a book. But guess what? Some of it is free. Yes, you, you can print it on your phone. And download the Bible. Amen. Guess what? You go to the dollar store mm. and get a Bible. Amen. A lot of us got Bible from my daddy and mama for gifts, and all they're doing is just sitting on the table. Amen. Some of us, oh, that's an old Bible. I want a new Bible. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a Bible. It's the same thing. Amen. <laughs> And you get, you get a new Bible, you still don't read. Yeah. I want to get a study Bible. Yeah. Get a Bible. Yeah. And for, this is what I do. Before I open up that Bible, I say, Lord, open up my understanding yeah. to your word. Yeah. Bless me to where when I read the word, I get what you want me to receive. Yeah. Don't let me read the Bible, and then I'm going to read something that what I want to get. Because yeah. see, you, guess what? You can read the Bible. There's a whole lot of people and preachers and all of that stuff. I, I, excuse me. I'm, 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 a, I'm the, they, they consider me the rebel. Mm -hmm. I don't care who's preaching, who's teaching. You have to read for yourself too, also. Amen. You have to study the word for yourself, Amen. also. Hallelujah. Because, as I said before, preachers and teachers they're human. Amen. They make mistakes. Yeah. And sometimes I make a read the word of God and I say, oh, I understand it. I, I got it. Mm -hmm. And I read it, I probably read it about 15 times, you know, or probably about 15 years. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, Billy Bob, the preacher, is preaching, and God said, whoop, this is what I want you to receive. Uh -huh. I said, wait a minute, I thought, I, no, this is what I want you to receive. I was blind. Mm -hmm. He had me blind. But if he gives, tells you, this is 
is what I got for you. Receive it. We're serving a God that never lost a battle. He never lost a battle. We're serving a God that I don't care what situation you're in. You call him. He's there. Amen. But you have to check your life. Because it's just like this. You know how they tell you, you can't go to the bank and get money out. You can put money in. Amen. So if I'm living raggedy all my life, they all of a sudden I want God to stand just, Lord, I need your help. And I'm expecting the answer right away. He may, not, he may and he may not. Amen. But just to be on the safe side, let me find myself doing what pleases in his sight, where he's happy. Yes. So yes. if anytime I need help, yes. he can say, hey, that's my son right there. Hey, yeah. he, he, he's really trying. Amen. See, what he wants us to do is just try. Yeah. Just try. Don't sit there and say it's too hard or go to church every Sunday. This is just try. At least try. Amen. We come here to learn and to get wisdom and knowledge. You may not get it this week, you may not get it next week, but continue to come. And yeah. guess what? The preachers, all we're doing is just preaching and teaching. God can open your understanding. Yes, sir. See, yeah. we can't make you do nothing. We can't afford. No, God does the changing. Mm -hmm. God takes us from the inside out and just rebound everything. Amen. Same thing you try to do for that little young rich man. So let us just think about what he did for Job. He lost everything and he got his count. Guess what? He lost his children. Hmm. But in the meantime, he blessed with more children. Amen. And they were the best looking children in the whole world. Yeah. Trust God. Trust God. Amen. Trust God. Trust him. He would never, never steal you wrong. Yeah, he, he may not come when you want him. Yeah. It's a song on wife's song. Hey, guess what? He may not come when you want him. Guess what? He's always on time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You need to be obeyed? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He will make a way. Yes. Mind you, he'll make a way. He may, yes. he may not pay it. Yes, sir. But he may delay it. Yes, sir. To whether you get some more money yeah. <laughs> to pay the bills. Yeah. Amen. So what are you doing now with, with this, this COVID stuff? Mm -hmm. Everybody got this, you know, some of the people ain't ain't paying their rent. Mm -hmm. Amen. They said, you gotta pay your rent now because it's it's kind of hard. Mm -hmm. I said, oh. First lady said, oh no, we're gonna pay this. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> because guess what? After those few months come up, they're going to say, you owe us. Yeah. So we ain't going to be sitting there waiting for that big bill to come. Yeah. We're going to go and pay this. Yeah. So that's what God said. I got you. Yes. I'll put a delay on it yeah. to give you to get more time. Right. Or he may just wipe it away clean. Yeah. But guess what? Right. Guess what? Anyway, be blessed, you Lord. Yeah. I'll be satisfied. Yeah. God bless you, sweet brother. I love you, Lord.